10 minutes to share a few memories if we have two songs to play as well at the end. Uh, if you'd like to get started by sharing a few memories at this time, you may do so. You bet you, Red Rider. All right, I'm going to start off. Oh, God. We only got 10 minutes. <laughs> hey, yeah. as, as, as you all know, we're all here um, for my mother. This was her last uh, wish. She had this planned at least 20 years before she passed. And uh, her plan was to, hey, when I go, you have to get together. Uh, at the time, I was 30 or 40 people, she says. And, and I want you to scatter my ashes at sea along with three gardenias, one for each of my children. So um, every one of you that are here are all a part of the family. So, you know, some of you might not have even met my mother, but that doesn't matter because you're all family and, and we love each and every one of you. And uh, th very thankful that you're here to share this for today. This was something that, you know, we, we needed to do. we got to follow through with it. And, and that's why we're here today. Um, uh, like I said, again, I want to thank each and every one of you. Uh, my mother, she was a great, great housewife, you know, a little history. Um, when, when, uh, when I was in high school, my parents got a divorce, you know. We had a great uh, family life with dune buggies and excursions on the weekends, and it was wonderful. Um, after divorce, things changed, you know, and uh, it was right around high school time and a pretty critical point in your life. Um, my mother, she didn't know what to do. She went back to work. She found a job at the, uh, uh, the convalescent hospital and took care of people. She did that on weekends, ho holidays, pulled doubles and triples, and that's what her life was, was giving back to the older people. And uh, she did that, you know, up until she retired. Until uh, she ended up. Yeah. She ended up, uh, ironically, going to the place where she worked for over 20-something years. And, um, but anyway, to speed it up, you know, she, um, she, she had a, 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 an enjoyable life, giving her love. We would come down on the holidays, bring her a turkey plate, spend some time with her, and, um, and then she would always come later on. My mother, if you knew my mother, there were phases, okay? She would show up and she'd be happy and she'd have a couple cocktails. And she was the life of the party. You know, she'd make a point to go over and pick on you for a while. And then when she was done with you, she'd go over and pick on you. And then she'd go over and pick on you and she'd pick a person. She had a lot of targets. And she would pick on, and it was almost a pleasure because she would pick on you until you're like, oh my God, you know. And the whole time she was bending the elbow and, and, and then she would get a little more and the words would start to slur a little more, but she'd still, and it would turn in from the happy Peggy to the, now I'm mad, you know. And now, God damn it, you know, and you do this and that. And, and it went from the happy to the I'm mad to the all of a sudden she's crying. She loves everybody, and she is she's hammered now, and she's just hanging and loving you, you know. And but, you're running. <laughs> she loved the party, man. She, she was a tore you apart. But she would get off work. She'd go down to the Rose Room. She'd hang out there. That was her other home away from home. She'd bend the elbow, you know. She'd meet somebody at the bar, and the guy would be out of money, and she would say, hey. You know, and the guy would go, hey, you want to buy my leather coat? You know, and his old rag, torn up for leather coat. She goes, yeah, here, I'll give you 60 bucks for it. I'll buy it for my son. And, you know, she came to me with, here, look what I bought you at the bar, you know. And, uh, anyway. Just a giving kind soul. That's what I'd like to share with you. And, you know, we're obviously we're going to miss her, and we have. And, uh, but, you know, uh, we're all big happy family here now this is you know you guys are my closest and dearest friends so you know we try to carry on a tradition of a good family life and friends and children and uh, anyway I also wanted to mention you know during that time there was a lot of stuff that happened besides I mean she liked to drink and there was a divorce but there was also a lot of camping she was an animal lover 
She was always good to us yes. kids. She let us, sometimes she let us get away with so much stuff she'd get in trouble. Grandma free for she all. She taught me how to drive when I was 12. She let us go to Denny's and run a renegade. Like she, 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 then got arrested. she got arrested yeah. because she let the grandchildren do what they wanted. You know what I mean? She, she was a lover and she, we didn't always bring turkey to her. She used, I remember growing up and she used to bring us canned food, groceries. She, I mean, she used to spray so much hairspray in your hair that it stuck to your forehead. Like she was, I don't know, she was Aquanet. a really good lady. Yeah. She wasn't, you know. Pink can. 80s is great. Oh. I just remember her loving the outdoors.